welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Passes to the left, and it's going the other way. Down the sideline. He's taken down at about the 23-yard line. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. First and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. senior huge play and it's going to be first and goal this isn't even the best example but i'm going to tell you something this young man is really getting better at running his routes which is a truly underrated quality these days tackle at the three scrambling they bring him down you know brad we had a chance to talk with this young man earlier in the week one of the things he thought he'd have a chance to do is make some plays by being able to blitz and get after the quarterback that time he timed it up just right and was able to come up with a sack rice could take the lead with this field goal the kick is up and they tack on three points and you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 26. The Owls are right where they want to be early in this one, Park. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. Big opening. And down he goes at the 36. And he's tackled the 33-yard line. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense.
It's away, and it's a booming punt. He dropped it. Tackle made at the 16-yard line. That's a tough break. Whether you lose the ball or not, it can mess with your head when that happens. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. Rice is up a field goal. He's tackled at the 18. That's a great tackle at the 21-yard line. And they make the stop around the 22-yard line. And that was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Rice has got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with a kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They go to the left for a nice game. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. He tackles him for a loss. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Well, this has really been stingy by both of these defenses. The question is, can they keep this pace up, though? I think that that's a big challenge for them to be able to continue to play like this. Right now, the emotion of the game is favoring the two defenses, but I get a feeling it's a matter of time until one of these offenses starts clicking. Rice has a three-point lead. He steps out right around the 24-yard line. Pushed out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Got a man. Watch out here. And he is drilled at the 46. Short pass, middle of the field. Tackle made right around the 40. Trying to change the field position with his kick. It's away, short punt. 
Brought down at the 19. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. This college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. We've seen that from both of these defenses so far. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's taken down at the 16. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. From their own 16-yard line, it's second down. <laughs> Nearly intercepted. Brad, he drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. He goes downtown. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. Oh, so close to breaking it. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's good. Two times, two times. That makes it seven and six. Brought down right around the six yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at about the three-yard line. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. Well, player down, and his teammates obviously worried after that play. Here's the eighth play of the series. Quick strike, and he drops it. This isn't much more than an extra point. Texas State can tie it up here with this kick. Kicks away, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. It's second and 13. Ball on the 22 yard line. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. He's going to air it long. Incomplete. Almost picked off. I thought they did a good job of reading the play and positioning themselves well to break up the pass. The Bobcats running game really took a big hit. Their key back went out earlier with the injury. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He takes it right side for a good game. That makes it seven and six. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Oh, 
They'll work the left side. And he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. throws right away. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. He passes it. Incomplete. Wasn't a bad pass at all, but just a good heads-up effort to get his fingertips on the ball. That makes it fourth and eight. Texas State is looking to go up by three. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he got it. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Tackles him hard at the 34-yard line. Hands it to the back. Makes it out to about the 43. To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 43. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Caught, and he's hit immediately. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Five wide. Fires out to his receiver, and he's level at the 49-yard line. That's good for the three yards. That makes it fourth and four. He fields a punt at the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says, finish, finish whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Texas State is up by three. Big opening. He's at midfield, and they push him out right around the 46-yard line. That's a nice job by the quarterback to pitch the ball, and it got him a first down. it off and he hits him hard at the 43 he fights forward to about the 40 to go long and does. And he holds it in. They pretty much had their way with the defense there. Terrific play. Converts the extra point. A 
four play 71 yard drive and that's good for a touchdown. So our score 13 three and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone down for a touchback. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Here's an opening. Tackle at the 33. That makes it second and two. Tackled for a loss. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. From their own 29-yard line, it's third down. Fights forward to about the 29. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Got the corner. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Fires out to his wideout, and down he goes at about the 45. And they got him. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. And that'll be three and out. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. He makes his way to about the 38. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled around the 48 yard line. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled at about the 41. On play action, he'll scramble. They bring him down. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out in practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 46. Quick strike to the receiver. Oh, 
play fake. Looking to run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Decides to slide. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Third down and they need to get it to the 15. Slings it out there incomplete. You can bend a bit as a defense, but when they're this deep in your own territory, you just can't break. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up, and he nails the long field goal. Rice is ready to kick it away. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 24. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Texas State is up a score. Down in the backfield. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 22. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off to the 10. Touchdown, Rice! The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Fielded at the four. Brought down at the 25. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. Brad, I think this is really where you find out what an offense is made of. They just made a critical mistake the last time they were out on the field. Can they forget about that mistake and just get ready for this next drive? Or will that mistake linger and affect this future drive? They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. Dumps it incomplete, wanted the screen. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. It complete over the middle. A seven yard pickup on the screenplay. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And he's 
taken down at the 19. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. From their own 19-yard line, second down. Going right to his tailback. Tackle made at the 27. And that's the end of the first quarter, and we've got a tie ball game. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Finds his man. First down. Six-yard line. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's taken down at the 49. Stop around the 39-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 87's getting the ball. 87's getting the ball. Three, three, three. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. The punter is going to try to pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. want to go in the locker room with momentum so as we get closer to halftime I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays he gets to about the 31 yard line he's gobbled up in the backfield From their own 28-yard line, second down. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. Check 
Nice run up the middle. That's good for a game of five yards. First down. Makes it out to about the 30. That brings us second and nine. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Makes it out to about the 10. That makes it first and 10. Touchdown, Bobcats. And he adds the extra point. Texas State to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Fires complete over the middle. He's hit and taken down. Gets out to about the 35-yard line. He's at midfield. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. From the 48-yard line, second down. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at the 34. From the 34-yard line. First down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Throws incomplete. They got lucky on that play. That receiver was wide open, but the quarterback just missed it. It's the ninth play of the drive. He's out of bounds at the 28-yard line. He scrambled. Tackle.
tackle at the 26-yard line. Well, that's a big-time stop by the defense. You know, Brad, one of the things that all defensive coordinators always try to emphasize is their ability to stop offenses on third down. That is a big stop, and I think it could have a lot to do with the outcome of this football game. And it's good! Rice, ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Texas State is up four. He might not be able to get the pass off. He's to the 40. And they push him out right around the 50. Tackles him hard at the 47. That makes it second and six. And he shoved out of bounds at around the 48 yard line. Good penetration by the defense. That's a loss of one on the option. down and they need to get it inside the 40. And he hits him hard at the 45. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. side and he's brought down to the backfield. Third down now and they need to get it inside the 46. With the pass incomplete. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. The offense comes back out, and as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. Throws it deep, almost intercepted. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. Second and 10, ball on the 28-yard line. Texas State holds a four-point lead. Caught, open field. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. With the tackle at the 36-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. And down he goes at the 35. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. Whoa, he just 
just took a licking. There just wasn't anywhere for him to go. Sure, he didn't go backwards, but this return could have been a lot worse. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. He's scrambling, and they get the sack. The blitz worked on that play as they got to the quarterback. Well, the linebacker's going to get credit here for the sack, but that was outstanding coverage downfield. The quarterback didn't have any options downfield, giving the linebacker time to make the play. And here's a quick throw. And it falls incomplete. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. That brings us fourth and 15. He's to the 40. Got the corner. He makes it on to maybe the 49-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Texas State is up by four. They'll bring him down at the 41. That makes it first and ten. He's into the open field. Tackled after decent pickup. That's a game of four one way. First down. And he's level at the twenty eight. He's in trouble. some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he got it. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It really has. They're dominating the point of attack. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. The defense wants to dig in here to avoid any letdowns. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Runs it right. Nice pickup. So he picks up about five on the option to the halfback. He's to the 40. And he's taken down around the 27-yard line. Check 
There's a strike complete. He's taken down right around the 20. Pitches in. He's got the corner. Brought down around the 20 yard line. One's going deep to the end zone. Number 15 was the intended receiver. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks up, and he's got it. Rice gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Texas State is up four. Excellent open field tackle. Tackle made at about the 35. That's good for a game of one yard. That makes it first and ten. And they make the stop around the 31-yard line. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Tackle right around the 44-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He tackles him for a loss. You know, sometimes the defense just has a beat on an option, and there's no way the offense can gain positive yards on it. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 48-yard line. off to the right and is brought down to the backfield. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Texas State holds a four-point lead. That's going to bring up fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended. Now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Knocked out of bounds around the 33 yard line. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And he just gets.
gets rid of it. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. made at the 40-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Texas State is up by four. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Here comes the pressure. That's a great tackle at the 32. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. And he can't hang on to the ball. I know I'd be nervous with 11 guys sprinting down the field at me, but the first job of a return man is to catch the ball. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Now he's scrambling. Brought down in the open field. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. Second time out of the half. From the 32 yard line. First down. Rifles it left. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Number 85. The intended That makes it second and 10. He's under some heat. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. He lets it go, and he's tackled right away. to buy some time and he's sacked you can't take sacks like that as a quarterback he just can't if you can't find a receiver get out of the pocket and throw the ball away he's tackled at the six yard line that's good for that makes it goal. he's gonna try and scramble now he's gonna run and watch out touchdown rice So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Number 
this kick return should conclude the first half. Don't be surprised to see some trickery here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Run play, and he'll lose yards. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Owls with a three-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground, and which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right, and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. They're ready to begin another drive. Rice has a three-point lead. They go to the ground game. And he hits him hard at the 24. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. As he threw and he completes it. They'll bring him down at the 47. Boss is out to the tailback on the screen. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play.
They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Rice is up a field goal. Makes it to the 31. That makes it second and two. There was some movement on the line. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. It's second and seven. Ball on the 26. He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Dives for extra yardage. So the keeper goes for about seven yards. And he's tackled in the open field. Tackles him hard at the 38. Scrambling around. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. Scramble. He's taken down at the 19-yard line. Three yards there on the quarterback keeper. Rice holds a field goal lead. And they got him for a loss. That's a loss of two yards on the play. And this play is number eight on the drive. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. And he's hit immediately. They'll line it up for the field goal. The Owls quarterback, we saw him taken out earlier down there on the sideline after being injured. I don't think he's in that much pain right now, though, and I would bet that he'll be back in the game before the day's done. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Rice has got a little Jekyll and Hyde thing going on here on their defense. Well, they were on their heels the entire first half. You look around now, they're flying around, making a lot of plays, and really giving themselves a chance to maybe win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's got the corner. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. Into the tailback, and he's met the backfield. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Again, he'll get the call. Brought down around the 39-yard line. Oh, 
They'll knock him down for a loss. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. That makes it second and 14. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. And they make the stop around the 32-yard line. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. it all going long oh boy almost intercepted they look like they've got the block on and this offensive line has got to give him some time and he's hammered down you know what it might not have been a lot but they moved the ball forward Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Rice up six. Passes it to the middle of the field. Tackle around the 37-yard line. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. He throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Try to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback. Tackle made around the 48-yard line. Good play here in run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and he's leveled at midfield. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. That makes it work in He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. Quick throw. He's taken down at the 25. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Rice is up by six. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Can't get away from the pressure. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. He gets it up, and he splits the uprights. Like 
they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's tackled at the 23. He's got it with room to run. Good open field tackle. Number 14 brings him down at the 28 yard line. That will make it room for Not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. the corner brought down at the 36 yard line well the guys are chomping at the bit down there waiting for the game to start back up he gets out to about the 35 yard line Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled at about the 21. He's on the run. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Owls. They're going to try for the two-point conversion. They don't get it. So the two-point conversion is no good. Here they try to put the ball in the air. Unfortunately, they were unable to convert. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. Down at the 25-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Makes it out to about the 40. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. And down he goes at about the 45. That's good for the end of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Check 15, check 15. 
He's on the run. And he is drilled at the 36. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He's into the open field. Makes it out to about the 26. Very good tackle in space. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. They bring him down. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. The kick is up. So the junior kicker isn't able to put it through. So we'll change possession with a score, 38-23, Rice. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. The Bobcats quarterback down on the sideline after getting injured earlier. I don't think it looks like he's in that much pain, and I would bet that we're going to see him back in the game before the day's over. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. What a bit of big play by the defense. He can't hold it. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. And he muffed it. The Owls aren't easing back, that's for sure. They're not content to sit on the lead they had. No, I think they're continuing to go out and execute, try to extend this lead, and just playing overall is much better here in the second half. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. They'll bring him down at the 11. Bring him down in the backfield. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Seven yard scamper on the keeper. hard at the nine yard line where in the world was he going on that run well, that's a good question i thought for a while he got his directions messed up 
It's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks up, and he's got it. The Owls had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the three. And he's taken down at the 31. The offense comes out of the field, and they're hoping to avoid the similar fate that killed their last drive. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. He's at midfield, and they push him out at the 49. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. He's at the 40, makes it to the 37. Taken down right around the 36 yard line. And the corner on the interception. He just jumped up and snapped the ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. Twenty-six yard line. First down. He's taken down right around the twenty-six yard line. That makes it second and ten. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. From their own 23-yard line, it's third down. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. And that'll make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Tackle at the 39. Yeah, nothing too impressive on that return. I'm curious to see if this offense can move the ball. The quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. And off inside. Brought down around the 45-yard line. the stop at around the 48-yard line. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home, the blocking wasn't there, and down he went. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. Sends it out quick, intercepted. That gives the defense their fourth pick of the day. This defense is four playmakers. They force the quarterback to make tough throws that he doesn't want to make, and that usually adds up to turnovers. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 33. He pitches it. He fights forward to about the 33. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. He was playing the run all the way and was able to stop him quickly. Good job by that senior safety. It 
delivers to the halfback on the screen. Tackle at the 33. One more quarter to play. Rice is up by 18. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Flips it, middle to the running back. Tackle made at the 43. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Wide open, incomplete. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Complete across the middle. And he's tackled at about the 37-yard line. The slant pattern, good for about eight yards on the play. And he's leveled at the 37-yard line. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. There's a strike complete. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. Too easy, too easy. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They'll get him for a loss. It's got to be frustrating for this offense to go backwards, but they've just got to and know that big plays will eventually happen. From the 41-yard line, it's second down. And down he goes around the 25-yard line. scrambled and they got him I mean this is almost getting ridiculous that is sack number eight this guy's gonna have to spend a half an hour in the ice tub after this game it's just been shot after shot all day long where's the offensive line defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation throws out and through his hands Looking for six. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he got it. Rice lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Last time out, the offense wasn't able to convert on fourth down. Well, this offense is going to have to do a better job on this drive. Remember the last time, they went for it on fourth down and came up short. Now they get the football back. Let's see how they can do it. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. Check three, check three. 
They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he's taken down at the 50. Tackles him hard at the 37. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Yard line, second down. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. About the 33 yard line. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was in bounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. So they're going to go for it here. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's taken down at about the 31. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. He's knocked out of bounds around the 41-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. Another third down. He's hit and taken down. And they'll get him in the backfield. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's sack number nine. They got him again. It's been quite a special game for this pass rushing defense.
They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. And he's sacked. I think the quarterback here, even though he came up with a sack and he's on his back, he's also guilty here of not getting a better pre-snap read. You know, a lot of quarterbacks will get caught up in their size and their arm strength and how they throw the football. But the really good quarterbacks bring the intangibles to the table, and that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection. That time, he didn't do that. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. They're set to go for another round. Throws this one away. Man left, man left. From their own 20 yard line. Second down. He guns it. And that one's fallen incomplete. Number 88, the intended receiver on the play. That brings us to the doesn't get there. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. <laughs> He's tackled at the 47-yard line. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Give to the tailback. He's at the 30 to the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Rice! Splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Good open field tackle. He drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Here's third and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. And they push him out around the 27-yard line. It's like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back in the zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Great job of getting downfield and making the tackle by the coverage team. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Complete brought down, nothing doing. 
So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 46-yard line. Rice up big right now in this one. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 46-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Tackled after a decent pickup. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 42. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So we're looking at another third down here. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. The punter is going to try to pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 28-yard line. And they make the stop around the 48-yard line. They try to get a head start there. Ball start, offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. At about the 43-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He fights forward to about the 40. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. He gets rid of this one. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. <laughs> 
So it's second and 12. Ball on the 26. He's tackled around the 17-yard line. That makes us third and three. He makes it to the 15-yard line. Two-yard gain on the quarterback keeper. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Zips it to the tight end. Broke away from one. Touchdown, Bobcats. the tight end this guy can play some football you bet he can he's such an all-around player he's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football they rolled the dice and went for it on fourth and i'm sure they're happy with the result he makes the pat down at the 42. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. And down he goes at the 34. That makes it second and two. They'll drop him for a loss. I thought they might have been able to exploit the over-pursuit of the defense, but not on that play. It's third and five. Ball on the 37. He's brought down in the open field. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm. And a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25. Quick pass. Taken down at about the 47-yard line. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Gain of seven yards. Watch the 
That'll make it second and four. The halfback with a carry. They'll bring him down at the 46. Nothing doing on the halfback draw. Takes off a tackle. Good outside run there. Gets it out to him again. He's taken down at the 33. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tackles him hard at the 28. Hand off up the middle. Gets out to around the 18. That's a deal of 10. That makes it first and 10. Steps out at about the 11. Rose left, the running back's got it. Brought down at about the 13. This is the 12th play of the drive. Less than three minutes in the game. That's a great tackle at the 19-yard line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Throws a bullet, and they intercept it. The sophomore safety. He's got an opening. Well, it's just one of those days for this offense. Already getting blown out. Now another interception. Can you imagine that walk over to the sideline for these guys? From their own 35-yard line. It's first down. He's on the run. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. To the 20. To the 10. They get on the board again. Touchdown. Three rushing touchdowns on the ground today for this young man. He's left this defensive coordinator just scratching his head. It's so difficult to deal with such a versatile athlete, and today, they just haven't been able to do it. And he hits the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kirk, I remember you had nights like this. Well, I think even though he's a senior quarterback, you're still going to have games like this. The most important thing is he's got some experience to fall back on to realize that, hey, I can still get through this game and still be successful despite these mistakes. And with time slipping away, we'll see if he can make some positive plays. He certainly doesn't want to see any more of his passes being caught by the other guys. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a four down, four down. 
That makes it second and six. Just over two minutes in the game. Throws it out and off. He's hit hard for a loss. Third down, eight to go. Ball on the 27. Throws complete, big loss. And he's taken down at the 47. There are a lot of ways that this senior quarterback can beat you. Well, what's great about this offense is having a quarterback that can hurt you both running and throwing. And we've seen that today. He's getting it going on the ground game, too. And if you force a defense to have to keep a spy on the quarterback, that's just going to be one less guy in coverage. And it's just going to be more opportunities in the passing game. Here's another chance for him to rack up more rushing yards. I'd be shocked if they throw it. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time. And now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. Orange three. Orange three. He tackles him for a loss. Anytime a running back gets one-on-one -on -one with a safety, I think that running back has the confidence in his own athletic ability to be able to make that safety miss and, and get upfield for some yards. That time, the safety just dominated him, made a great tackle in the backfield for a short loss. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Rice up by a bunch. Well, some backups got some playing time today, that's for sure. It's final. Rice, 65, Texas State, 30. So that wraps things up for us, for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.